Hello, and welcome to this project in which I will uh, create a little calculator. All right, so we're going to start off with uh, exploring a little bit about, you know, what's a calculator, uh, and then we're going to code it. So <clears throat> in this example, uh, we're going to take two numbers and uh, based on the user's input and then add them together, or we can then do another sort of uh, operator if we want to. So um, just to introduce you, we are on the Make Code Microbit website. Uh, we have here the simulator. We have the code uh, drawers, or the different categories in the middle. And then on the right hand side, we have our code where we're going to put it. So we are going to start off or we're going to we're going to start off with uh, some code, but we don't need this forever. So we can just get rid of that. So again, our, our calculator, um, we're going to have uh, a number one, and then that's going to be based on input. And then we have a number two based on input as well. Based on input. All right, so, um, Oh man, what's wrong here? Okay, so uh, we're gonna ba base those two on input and then we're going to add them together uh, and then we're we're gonna display that. <clears throat> so we need to, to do some displaying here. We're gonna get another number and then we're also gonna display it so we know what it is. Um, we're gonna add them together and then we'll we'll display them as well. So if we think about this, we're gonna, so we'll, we'll start off, we'll need a way of, of having number one, having a number two, and then adding them together, or in other words, creating a total for, uh, for them. And so we're gonna need a few variables. So we're gonna head over to our variables tab. We're gonna make an, a new variable. And so in this case, we're gonna have number one, and while we're in here, we can make another one, number two. And so we're going to start off with both of our numbers are going to be equal to zero. So we can just set that number one and number two are equal to zero. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can follow it. So we start off with number one is equal to zero and number two is equal to zero. So we're starting them off at, at zero. And then what we need to do is have some sort of input or user input to increase number one. And so what we're gonna do is, is there's a few options, but we have these two buttons that are right on the front here, is we're gonna go over to our input, button A, and we're gonna use button A to increase or change number one. Now, if I go ahead and I run this, I assume that number one is going up. There's no way for me to know this. And so I'm going to go over to our, my basic show number, and then I need to drag this show number one inside here. And you'll see a few things here. One is the shape. They're both uh, sort of oval um, or ellipse, and they can one could go into the other the other thing is based on um that little pimple uh, i like to call it is that pimple will show you what's being connected where uh, so it's really helpful when you've got a bunch of these different blocks and they're sort of overlapping and so let's go ahead and run this again so now you can see i'm increasing it and we're good so now we're going to do pretty well the same thing but for button b and so here uh, is a little quick hack if you're going to do something that's very similar is if you just right click on a, a group or any collection of blocks and you can duplicate it. So now you'll see right away that it's uh, got this like light uh, yellow uh, grayed out. And so what that means is because they're both doing the same thing, they're not competing. This one will take priority. So but we don't want this to be on button A, we want it to be on button B. 
We also want it to change number 2 by 1, and we want it to show number 2. And so we've got this one is all related to number 1, and this one is all related to number 2. And so if I go in here, I press it, so we're now up to 3. And if I press this one, I'm now at 4 on this one. So now I need a way of adding them together or doing some sort of operator with them. And so what I can do is I can go back to input. And there's another option in here that we don't really see until we activate it, A and B. And you'll see here on the micro bit, now this A and B is option is there. So we're going to need a way to add them together. And so again, we're going to make another variable called total. And we're going to set the total to be equal to some math that we're going to do with this. So we're going to go into the math block here, and I'm going to grab the addition. So I'm going to add number one. And so this is very useful because we've got a few different things. We've got to make sure that where is my number one going? It's going into that little slot there. And then this one, I you can see how I can, I can drag it around and, and be in different options there. So we want to make sure that we're putting the number one and number two in the appropriate spot. So right now my calculator is doing addition. But here I can cha change this to subtraction, multiplication. Um, so you can explore with this with your uh, as you as you create. Um, but yeah, so there we are. And so uh, once we've got this, now we need to again display it so we can see that on the screen. So we're going to drag this into our total there. Great. So we got one, two, let's take two, and then we do B, three. So two plus three is five. There we are. So there's our little calculator, but that's, that's it. We can't really do anything more with it um, right now unless we wanted to maybe restart it. And so here we can use an on shake. So now this is where you take your, your micro bit and if you have one that you've downloaded it to, you actually physically shake it. Or you can use this little shake and we can use this to reset our numbers. And so now we can go into variables and we're gonna set the total to be zero. We're gonna set number one to be zero. And we're going to set number two to be zero. I'll just zoom out a little bit. Minimize this. So there we are. So at the very beginning, oh, now that I've added a total, let's maybe set the total. So at the very beginning, when we, when we run this, it sort of lets us know or lets the program know we're going to have three numbers. Number one it's equal to zero, number two is equal to zero, and the total is also equal to zero. Then we can press number, uh, button A to, to make number, th number one is now equal to three, and we have number two is equal to, or number, yeah, number two is equal to two, and then if I do A, B together, it'll equal five. And I can press this to shake and clear it. And so maybe I could also uh, clear those numbers, but let's clear the screen as well. And so we're ready to go to do another program. So I'll do that. Let's just do one. There we are. And then if I do a shake, that'll clear it all off. So last little thing, we can just save this. So I like to save it um, on my computer. You can also save it within your uh, web browser, but if you are, are switching computers so often, I would suggest you, you just save it onto your computer and then you can upload it later to continue working on it uh, or, or save it. So there it is. Thanks very much for watching and happy coding.